All right, welcome to the last episode of Series 2. This has been a lot of fun for me. It's a great way to uh, see my hometown in a different way. So let's see what we find today, Episode 6. Here we go. Our first location comes from the 1996 movie Crash. The balcony of James Spader's apartment in that movie overlooks the interchange of the 401 and 404. We obviously can't get into the apartment itself, but we can see it from the highway driving past. It's one of these balconies in that building on the southwest corner of the interchange. Now just to be clear, when I say the movie Crash, this is not the Paul Haggis crash that everyone now hates. This is the David Cronenberg crash that no one watched. And I think this same building was caught in the background of one shot from Going Down the Road, the classic Canadian movie from 1970. The two main characters, Peter and Joey, are coming to Toronto from Nova Scotia, and this is a shot from when they first arrive in the city. I can't say it's the same building from Crash, but it does look similar. Of course, that whole arriving in Toronto montage from going down the road doesn't make geographic sense. This is their first view of the skyline when they arrive, which would place them about here on the map, driving westbound. And then three shots later, they're on the Richmond Street exit of the Don Valley Parkway, which would place them back here, also going westbound. The continuity is all over the place. Let's make a quick stop now to the University of Toronto's Scarborough campus. This is the entrance to the Science and Humanities building, which was used as the entrance to the laboratory in the shape of water, where they housed the fish creature. Now down near the lake, near Old Fort York, is the Gardner Expressway, and it was here that a scene from the movie Shazam was shot. If you remember that scene where the bus goes over the elevated highway, and then Shazam catches it in time, this is the place where it was shot here on Fort York Boulevard. Now I can't be sure that there was an actual physical bus here at this location. My best guess is that it was all special effects. And it seems like with more movie locations I visit, with the older movies, you can be certain that the actors were physically there. But with these new movies like Incredible Hulk and Shazam and Shape of Water, you can't be sure that anyone was actually here other than camera people getting shots they needed, which are then taken into post-production. And the last movie I'm taking a look at today is a rare Hollywood movie that was shot in Toronto and actually set in Toronto. It was 2010's Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I'm here at the Baldwin Steps on Davenport Avenue. It's here that the characters of Scott and Ramona walk up the stairs having a conversation. It's only a hundred or so steps, so it's not a huge workout, and it's a nice view when you get to the top. Those lampposts don't exist in real life. If they ever did, then they don't anymore. At the top of the stairs is Casa Loma, a mansion that was once a private residence built by financier Sir Henry Pellet about a hundred years ago. He lived in the house for about 10 years before he went bankrupt. If you ever get a chance to visit Casa Loma, make the trip up to the top of one of the towers. It's an amazing view of the entire city, well worth the effort. A short drive away from Casa Loma is the Witchwood neighborhood. Here you'll find the entrance to what was Scott Pilgrim's apartment in the movie. In real life, it's not an apartment at all. It's a garage or a storage area underneath the house. Three streets over from Scott Pilgrim's apartment is Greensides Avenue. I'm just doing a quick drive-by. My cousins used to live on this street years ago, so there's a lot of great memories of this neighborhood for me. And finally, on our way home, we're passing by St. Michael's College. These gates were used in Scott Pilgrim as the entrance to Knives Chow's High School. Well, that's it for today's video, and that's it for Series 2. Thanks to everyone for their positive comments and support. I really do appreciate it. Series 3 is coming soon. Until then, hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.